Now, I want to tell you something. As a professional courtesy, because this is a profession, and this is not, um, the fight's already picked. You don't have to pick a fight with a guy, right? As a professional courtesy, I told Ryan Jimmo for my first fight we should do something funny. I told John Vellante in New Zealand I wanted to do something funny. I told Matt Van Buren, hey, it's kind of my thing. I like to goof around at the weigh-ins. I'm going to do something funny. And he said, oh, okay. <laughs> and I had come up with the idea of a cute little boop. Just to add levity to what is, everyone tries to make it a big tense situation. The fight is picked. Joe Silva picks that fight for us. You know, we don't have to be jerks to one another. So uh, I thought it'd be funny. He didn't laugh, but I don't really care. Because like I said, the fight is already picked. Um, if that motivated him to fight better in the first and second round today, fantastic. Because, you know, the fans were treated to a better fight because of it, I guess. Uh, I was sloppy to start this fight out. Um, didn't move my head properly. We felt all through camp, if I was able to get my hands on him, uh, I'd get a good result and I could probably put him down, but he did a great job of keeping me off him, moving his head, moving his feet, throwing those long knees from distance, uh, and really kind of roped me into taking more punishment than I'm proud of taking. Um, but ultimately, you know, I trained with a really excellent group of guys at Jeremy Horn's Elite Performance, and we put each other through tough beatdowns all the time. So what happened in there was nothing new. Um, I knew that if I could just you know, improve a little bit on my movement and get a couple in to land on his chin, he would go down. I definitely did hear the crowd. You know, that's a little, uh, little motivation, a little impetus for you to be like, even they can sense that the end might be near. So I just kept swinging and they kept landing. And he, he went into like robot mode there, right? When he went down and he started getting back up, I was pounding his face and he just didn't want to stay down. Had me worried there for a second, but ultimately, you know, you hit a guy enough times, no matter how tough he is, he's gonna go down.